It's the, uh, well, nearly the May bank holiday. It's the May bank holiday weekend. Um, and I thought I can make a wee run out just tonight. I got the chance. Oh, that was a wee knock. Um, and so I took it. Now, we had frosts last night. We were clearing the ice off the car this morning. So things still haven't warmed up much. It's not like we're in the summer weather, although it looks lovely. Um, but I thought, nevertheless, it's gotta be worth a wee run out, you know? And there's always the chance of a fish. I, I, I suspect as the sun starts to dip and come off the water, it might get real cold real fast and that might put an end to it. But it's such a lovely night that sure, it's like, why wouldn't you, you know? Um, oh. So that's what I've done. Um, as has been the recent trend, the, I'm fishing a couple of wet flies by John McLean. I have one of his, um, his uh, Connemara blacks on the top. Uh, and I think I was saying he ties them like pammered, like a bob fly. So uh, that's an interesting kind of experiment. And I have a teal and black, um, again tied by John, on the point. Did I say the Connemara black on the point as well? Well, it's on the bob. <laughs> so uh, a selection of darker flies tonight. Uh, at least to start with. They always say on a bright day you should go for a bright fly. And I always say I'll do whatever I want. <laughs> Wind's cold, um, I would say. It's in the east, maybe. Uh, I don't know, certainly southeast, uh, hard to tell, but cold wind anyhow. And I think tomorrow we're to have rain. So there's starting to be like a wee bit of high cloud um, that we didn't have even half an hour, an hour ago. So I guess it's building up for the arrival of the rain. Um, But lovely evening to be out. Sure you might as well. We don't really have long in terms of time. Because um, like I say, I have this sort of feeling that it's going to get real cold real fast tonight. Um, just once the sun dips. So I want to keep moving fairly rapidly, just to cover a wee few spots. But this is one of these spots where often I would tie on my flies and have a quick cast, even if there's no sign of fish or anything. Oh, I've moved a fish, even if there's no sign of fish. Um, so definitely moved a fish out there. Put the flies over again in a second, just in case. You never know, it might come back. a fish moved, so we'll put the flies over him now. Eh? Depends which direction he's moving in, of course.
I've been saying something in that maybe if the weather warms up a wee bit such that we get a bit of fly life, I'll maybe have a go on a local river, you know, with a wee dry fly and a and a nymph for a for a brown trout. It's just it's something I haven't done in like forty years. I mean, um, and uh, I have an eleven foot four weight rod. It's the only suitable rod I have, and I suppose some people would say on a wee river, an eleven foot rod's hardly handy, but it's what I've got, you know. And I might give it a wee bash just for for a couple of days out, you know. The problem is access. Um, the problem in this country is always access and that getting a permit should be no problem. Um, but getting physical access to the actual to the actual banks is an entirely different matter. Oh. I've been fishing the leader rod for a while now, so this is the first time back with this one we were. And plus I'm landing my leader, well the sink tip or intermediate tip, in a bit of a pile. Um, again. Podcasting just you see. See what I mean? Um just I find that sometimes with different tips that they sometimes just I don't know, they behave a wee bit differently. And if you're not careful paying attention, they land in a bit of a pile and I'm rarely paying attention. Don't know, that's probably what my school report said, I can't remember, but probably said rarely pays attention. Fish. There's people walking across the bridge. Uh, um, I guess with it being a bank holiday and whatnot, oh, it fell off. <laughs> with it being a bank holiday and whatnot, there'll be people out for walks and you know, so on and so forth. But hey ho. Right, I may move along a wee bit further. Um, I don't really have long, as you can see, the sun's getting fairly low. Um, so if I'm going to pack things in, I need to kind of keep bobbing along. Um, see, I've got the other camera on the stick, so I have two cameras. Isn't that amazing? And that's just what I do with it. Just put it on my stick and stick it into the ground. Uh, so it's hardly sophisticated. I'm, I don't like to do anything that interferes with my fishing, you know. So setting my stick down certainly doesn't interfere with my fishing. So it's acceptable. <laughs> but I'm going to trot over my wee bridge here. And then along the next wee bit of bank and give it a cast and see if there's any wee fish there. Um, don't know, I think it's been a success. I've already lost one. Uh, so that's better than I expected, I guess. Like I say, there's people along there. They're just standing on the side of the wall. Obviously come out for a wee spin for the night.
Oh, that's swimming towards me. Come here, wee fish. Again, this would be a typical fish for here. Not, not big at all. There he goes. So he was on the, uh, he was on the uh, Connemara black tide lick as the bob fly. Um, I think, I think it's a good pattern, you know. I'm really taken with it because it kind of combines a lot of features of good bob flies. Oh, what have I done here? There we go. Um, you know, with the, it's a bit like a Kate McLaren and it's a bit like a Blue Zulu. And it's, a, it's a bit like everything bob flyish. You see this in badly. I'm well acquainted to fishing places with pretty much clear banks, you know, basically empty bog. And I'm also sometimes acquainted to fishing places with high banks and the fish rows out there. Um, But behind me, for reasons I'm not sure, someone has installed a life belt. And of course, the last thing you expect to hook or tangle with is a, a life belt. So, so in a minute, I'll end up hooking the life belt and then they'll come and do me for interfering with safety equipment or something. Because yeah. I hook it every time I come here just because I'm so convinced there's nothing behind me. Another wee step. I did that to try and put my cast the other side of the life belt, you see. I'm trying to be clever so that I don't like end up hooked into a life belt on video. That's what I'm trying to do. So I think I'll move along a wee bit further again, um, just to keep on the keep on the move, keep the momentum going. The wind has gone very cold. Um, um, oh, I um, uh, missed him. I was just too slow. I'm not seeing much in the way of fly life, so that doesn't doesn't give you a whole lot of hope of a lot of action. Because sometimes, you know, on the right night, this wee lock can produce oh, a, a good handful of of wee fish. You know, they're never going to be big, and they might not even ever be a quarter of a pound, but. You know what I mean, it's a night out and a bit of sport. I moved another one. Again, they're coming a wee bit short. And sometimes they do that up here. In fact, sometimes they do it everywhere, but I certainly I've had years up here 
when they just seem to do it all year and it doesn't matter what you do, small flies, big flies, bright flies, dark flies, fish come short, you know. to me like maybe the sun's gone down behind those clouds uh, and that maybe those clouds are the rain that's to come I don't know though the wind's actually behind me at the minute but so the clouds should be kind of moving away from me but maybe up there it's maybe like a front moving in you know So I think we should move along another wee step. that moved a fish, you know. I felt the tiniest wee knock and I thought I saw a wee disturbance. Can't be sure. But um I'll just have a wee cast along here, just a couple of minutes more, but with the sun gone and the sunset on its way, um it's feeling pretty cold and I think maybe not much is going to happen tonight, you know. Oh, it's a possibility, but... So I might have a wee cast along here. I might have a cup of tea as well, you know. Um, because as you know, it's rare I come out without a cup of tea. And I've had a strenuous evening. I've fished for several, several minutes, I would, I would guesstimate. I don't know if you can see the other angler over there. He's out on the wee peninsula bit, just parked up behind it there. Uh, just I guess he's like me, took the chance of a quick night out. Um, don't know how he's doing, but sure. Hopefully he'll get a few fish, you know. Maybe in that wee sheltered corner. So I think this will pretty much do us for the evening. I kind of feel like that's me done. Um, I might have a wee cup of tea and watch the sunset. We'll see how we feel um, when we get there. Ah, I, think I tangled that cast, so that'll do me. I think if I'm gonna have a wee cup of tea, I'll decide that on the way back. And uh, that'll do us for the fishing. It just feels cold now, you know.
Don't know if you can see anything now, it's getting rapidly darker. And obviously the GoPro will be cranking the ISO up, so everything will be getting noisy and blocky. But nonetheless, that's me done for the night. I'm just having a wee cup of tea before I head for home. Um, it's getting quickly drop into me. And it's been relatively successful. I had one or maybe two wee fish and lost a few and touched another few. So, you know, just for really, I don't know, not many minutes fishing. Lovely night. Um, and I've, I've got, you can see the special six in the bonnet on. It's freezing cold now cold wind and uh, it's just the way it is at this time of year you know we'll maybe have another frost though the rain's to be on by the morning heavy rain overnight or uh, all day tomorrow so another great day out or great hour out and uh, maybe we'll do it again soon I'm just gonna drink my tea and enjoy the sunset or the view the sunset has set long ago